Why did I write my open letter? Because I was frustrated and I just wanted to put a few points down and stop festering on the things that are sort of, that bother me. Um, and, and one of the things that's been frustrating me of late is that a lot of the people that I talk to uh, in my job as publisher of a cycling magazine complained to me about this, the plight of cycling in Australia. And in an Olympic year, it should be the other way around. People should be really excited about what's going on. And that's not because uh, everything about cycling revolves around the Olympics, but apparently the, the Australian government's desire is to, to bring gold medals uh, to back home and inspire people to ride their bikes. But I think that cycling is bigger than the Olympics. I think it's a lot bigger than the Olympics. And unfortunately, a big part of the focus of spending from Cycling Australia relates to Olympic gold or the quest for it. And I think uh, the, the lessons from Rio serve us well insofar that there was a, a, a reasonably good campaign and we saw a lot of interesting competition and probably the best team pursuit ever. Uh, it was something that I've been looking forward to and I loved it. But I don't think that that's the, uh, the be-all and end-all of cycling. I think that the, it, getting people onto bikes should be the mission of the, the governing body of the sport in Australia. And I think Cycling Australia has failed on that front. And I wanted to at least express my thoughts on that topic and open, of course, a dialogue between other people involved. We call them stakeholders. It seems to be the buzzword, but really I'm talking about everyone who has some association with cycling. They should be able to come forward uh, and express their frustration, like I have, and express their criticisms and offer solutions and just basically talk about it. And, and hopefully the open letters serve that purpose. I know that uh, overnight I've been able to connect uh, Michael Drapak with Nick Green, who's the CEO of Cycling Australia. There's been a, a, a wealth of correspondence that's come to me since I did publish my open letter on Friday. It's only uh, Wednesday today and I've had hundreds of emails and a wealth of uh, commentary on social media, on Facebook and Twitter. And I'm grateful for all of that feedback and I can, I can do something with it. We can make something of it and hopefully Cycling Australia can too. We'll wait to see what comes of it.